description says best ra best diagnostics obd reader for my specific fiat decato three liter which is a conformatic to speak to the gearbox any codes adjustments the parameters actuators this is the kit all for under 50 quid and uh, it's very simple to use so watch my first video for the initial setup uh, i'll put a link in the description and then that is setting it up to your laptop or your phone whatever and then once you're to this stage now i just want to show you what you've got so i'm now in my gearbox which errors no fault calls you go to parameters and then you just take every one of what you want to look at as you can see gear engaged neutral brake pedal released ignition key on and then every time you try and do a certain maneuver like try and uh, change gear you'll get the solenoid valve or your, your solenoids or sensors your clutch temperature clutch degradation index um it's a brilliant piece of kit so any of these what you can look at your battery look pump engine temperature 37 celsius uh battery voltage this is coming from the gearbox which is uh 13.5 volts 13.4 engine speed clutch disc rpm um clutch engagement position brilliant piece of kit as i mentioned so you've got your graph and see you can get your graphs on so you can look sp at specific what you want them to look at and then you've got your actuators so if you want to test anything out now on these if i want to check test my clutch solenoid valve i'd just press on it and then execute so then you've got adjustments here's where what the fiat dealers what you're paying top money to do so if you're doing anything what i've done in my part five series from changing your clutch fluid any sensors taking your harness out you've got to learn your gearbox to adapt this new sensor so I won't really take notice of every video out there for the uh, Fiat because you've got the uh, the Alphas and you know all different types of vehicles which there's three different types of these sail speeds and um, they're all very similar with the sensor wise but a little bit different setup when it comes to a clutch um, calibration um, on the Alpha um, you have to do a 300 yard we're on this one so you've got your clutch calibration you do this while you're just static press execute button engine must be off stop start function uh, no active gear in neutral then you start the engine you wait and it'll do five clutch activation cycles and it should finish in a minute you turn the key off you wait 15 seconds then turn the key back onto ma that's it that'll calibrate it but you need to try and find out i'll put the documentation for you to download for any type of uh, what if you're changing an actuator a sensor there's all different types of parts what you can change which it needs to do on here so a full-on clutch replacement you would then go to a clutch replacement and then you'd have to calibrate it but because i've only done the sensor and drained my clutch all i'm doing is clutch drain which you're not draining it if you read it it's the test should be performed if tubes or components of the hydraulic circuit have been disassembled or reassembled it should eliminate any air in the circuit so you're bleeding it you're getting air out which do it do it for five times and it'll get any air to the top and uh, bleed the whole system you can even do it up to 15 times just keep doing it and trying it then um, because i've done the sensor uh end of life i want to be doing so that's the production final uh calibration which this does everything this does your uh, clutch calibration there's no point just doing clutch calibration delete statistical data all this type of stuff what you're reading online on the fiat forums and uh, etc 
So uh, if you're changing sensors, taking the uh, harness out, clutch drain, stuff like that, fluids, just do as I say, clutch drain, then you delete your statistical data, which is here. That's just gonna delete your old sensor parameters. This function is used to delete some of the parameters inside the control unit. Execute in case of the complex gearbox replacement, conditions to run this function, engine off, stop start function not active. So I can just press this now and execute. It's gonna delete the statistics in the parameters and then uh, that's deleting all the data I've already got. So that's the first thing I'd carry out. Then I'd drain the clutch and then I'm gonna do the production final calibration. And uh, the production service final calibration command results in self-learning values relating to their gear engagement and selection positions and checks that the clutch plunging is regulated correctly. You are recommended to bleed the clutch before running this test. The test should be run if uh, potentiometers, that's the uh, sensor, which is the potentiometer, what I've changed, electrovalves, mechanical components, or the all actuation unit has been disassembled or reassembled, or if the control unit has been replaced. It lasts five minutes. So this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna drain my, I'm gonna uh, do the clutch drain, the delete statistical data, sorry, then the clutch drain, then the production final service for my sensors. Then you're good to go. You've learned everything. Um, I have uh, read on a forum that you want reset self-learn functions. This command zeroes the parameters relating to the self-learn functions. Break node following zeroing of the self-learn functions. The presence of ABS VDC ASR only if connected to CAN is relearned. You've just changed the sensor, you carry out the clutch drain, do that about five times. All you do is uh, keep the vehicle off, key on ma, hold the brake pedal down while you're pressing execute and keep holding it and it'll carry out the clutch drain. Then you're doing the delete statistical data, just uh, engine off, uh, key on ma and execute. Then you're doing the production final service calibration, which I have to get my engine temperature up to 80 Celsius. You have to turn your vehicle off, key on ma, uh, in neutral, and then you carry out the execute. And you'll see it going through all the gear changes, reverse, you'll hear it bleeding, relays clicking, and then that lasts about five minutes. And then it'll say complete, you press yes, and then go to your parameters and then you'll see everything has been reset and your sensors have been relearned and at the very bottom it should say gearbox clutch self calibration correct job complete that is all you need to do you've changed your sensors you've bled the clutch fluids and then you've relearned the system and that is your clutch kiss point and your gear reset and instead of an expensive job at the dealers, you've paid 50 quid for a diagnostics. You can put it onto your iPhone, so you can, you can carry it in your van or your motorhome, or like me, just put it on a tablet and uh, you get more data. So I hope the video's helped and uh, see you all no soon. It's available on the transmission. And as soon as I put it into first and went to set off and you don't get anything, and uh, just a breakdown I ended up changing this sensor uh, which is the clutch sensor which is under it's on your master slave cylinder which is directly below your reservoir tank see that gold bracket there so if I zoom in you can't, I'm not going to see it, but you've got your gear sensor, which is there, where I'm pointing straight away, there, look. That is your gear position sensor, and then you've got a clutch sensor just here, on this uh, system, on your master slave cylinder. Just right there in the corner, and it's like this. And you'll see this fits into where it should, and that helped me select gear. And then I did uh, the calibration and end of life, everything on here on Multiscan.